December. Can you believe it's the 1st of December today? I can't. <laughs> this year has been a crazy one and I'm very happy that Christmas is here. I love Christmas. Um, it's one of my favourite times of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Um, I love it. I just love it so much. Like it brings me so much joy. It's such a happy time and I love that. Um, even though Christmas is very different this year, like very different, um, I'm actually not going to see my family I don't think. Um, this Christmas I'm only staying with like my, what would you call it? My, my close family? As in, like, I'm seeing my mum and dad and my sister, but I don't think we'll be seeing the rest of my family because my family's quite big. And, um, yeah, so I don't think we're going to be seeing the full family this year. Um, so it's going to be a different one, but I'm actually really excited for it. I hope you enjoyed the last video of me decorating my room and um, my living room um that's all the kind of festive things we do in the house we don't put any other festive things anywhere else so um yeah but it's the first of december which means it's advent calendar day so i'm going to look at that night i'm going to open my advent calendar um please excuse my house my house is very old um these pictures are not mine they're my mum's anyway i'm going to where my advent calendar is it's here I'm so excited! Um, okay, let's go into the living room and I can uh, open it with you. Ooh! Hi, Poppy! You wanna say hello? Say hello? Hi! Um, ooh, Christmas lights aren't on. Let's switch those bad boys on. Right, let's open my advent calendar. Oh, I've thrown it on the floor. Here she is in all her glory. Yes. She's nice, isn't she? You can't have it though. You had yours. Right. Where's number one? Oh, I found it. Why are Avon colours are so hard? Oh, there we go. So it is a little, little pudding. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh. That is exquisite. Mm. More cheese is chocolate. Ew, this is bad. <laughs> More cheese is chocolate. It's delightful. I'm so happy I get to have a little nugget of that every day. Oh. Maltesers Advent Calendar is the best one. Dairy milk is good, that's the classic, but Maltesers chocolate is my favourite chocolate. I love the um, reindeers, so this is why I have this one. I'm very happy about it. Right, should I have some breakfast? Probably. I'm gonna make some breakfast. Okay, I'm not sure what to have for breakfast. Should I have Weezabix? Should I have maybe Weetabix? Weetabix is a good option. Um, what do you have for your, uh, what do you call it? Winter breakfast. I am a Weetabix fan when it comes to winter breakfasts. Breakfasts? Breakfasts. Winter breakfasts. Yeah. But yeah. Sorry for the mess. There's just a lot of stuff in this kitchen. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to really apologise for it. It's a kitchen. It's, well, I'm a normal person, you know, it's not pristine. Anyway, um, what is your winter breakfast? I'm gonna just move this out of the way, it's really distracting me. There we are, that's better. Um, as I was saying, what is your winter breakfast? I always go for, need a bowl. I always go for um, Weetabix with hot milk um, because it's the best thing ever and if you, God, I thought there was some knickers in the background this <laughs> Um If you have never tried it, I'd recommend. Um, it's such a good, like, easy winter breakfast. And um, I just love it. Who doesn't love a bit of wheat of this? 
it's just definitely like a winter only breakfast like i wouldn't have it in summer absolutely not but i need a i always put my wee bits in the bowl like so get a mug fill the mug with some milk i used to do this at uni all the time um which is why i heat my milk up in a mug most people probably do it in a pan maybe not most people my sister thinks it's weird that I use a mug, but hey, milk in mug, and then I put that in the microwave. Two bins in the microwave to heat it up, and then I'm gonna put a tiny bit of sugar on the top of my um, Weetabix because I need something sweet, something to keep me going. A little bit of sugar, and then I wait for my milk to be cooked heated and then i put it in so that is my breakfast of choice for winter um yeah let me know in the comments what is your winter breakfast what do you go for um are you a porridge person i don't like porridge um it's not for me i'm i'm sorry if you can hear that noise i just can't be bothered to go out of the room <laughs> yeah do you like porridge? Do you have toast? Do you like have the same breakfast all the time? Do you have like a normal cereal with cold milk? I just can't eat anything that's too cold. Sometimes I'll have toast because that's kind of warm. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wait for my uh, milk to heat up and then I'm gonna eat my Weeda Bix. I've just sat down to have my breakfast. Sorry about the bad lighting, but I just got to show you something. Sat down and <laughs> look who's joined me. Hello! <laughs> she actually had a pause on the table originally, which is not a good thing. Um, so, <laughs> I've got um, someone to join me for breakfast this morning. So that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> breakfast complete. Now, it's time to do some work. Today on the agenda is... Um, what have I got to say? I've got a campaign to shoot with that. Um, and I also want to shoot some mirror selfie shots. I need to film some TikToks. Whenever I do mirror selfie like pictures and stuff, I always film a TikTok to go with that outfit and it goes straight onto TikTok. If you follow me on TikTok, you will have seen them. Um, I will leave my TikTok on the screen. It's I am Charlotte Olivia if you want to go follow me. Um, I'm really enjoying creating like little videos, like snippet videos. Um, and they seem to be doing well, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, then follow me on there. Lots of fashion content, always. Um, I am going to be doing some fashion content through Vlogmas, because I know you guys love that. Um, but I'm just going to do some vlogs too, because I really enjoy doing vlogs. And when I'm by myself at home, I'm just like, why not? Um, but yeah, I need to move all of this mess here. Um, this is stuff to go on Depop. I had a bit of a clear out on the weekend um, because I have so much stuff. And one of the things that when you work, do this as your job, you end up collecting a lot of things. And I might get gifted a load of items. Um, and then sometimes they just, I just don't need them. So, or I might buy stuff for work and then I just don't need it. And I have accumulated so much knitwear that I don't wear. And I know there's people out there who would love to, to buy this off me or, you know, have this knitwear. So, the knitwear will be on Depop. I will leave my Depop below. Um, it's I am Charlotte Olivia, as is most things. <laughs> um... So all of that stuff will be on Depop. I don't know how quick it's going to sell. I don't know exactly when this video is going to go live. But it will be linked below anyway. And you can go and check it out if you are interested in shopping some of my old clothes. A lot of the stuff I have is really, really like good quality and not worn loads. So um, it's pretty decent. Um, but anyway, I'm going to tidy up and get myself ready to shoot some content. And then get going because there's not much light in a day and it's currently half nine, which is probably the earliest I've ever started doing work um, recently. So um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna finish watching the rest of Made in Chelsea. Um, if you haven't been watching Made in Chelsea, I highly recommend. You know, like anyone who's like me who started watching Made in Chelsea when it first came out like 
back in the day. Um, main chess is very different to how it used to be, especially if you get really invested in the characters. But if you're of similar age to me, um, a lot of the people in Major Chelsea now are the same age, so it's a little bit more relatable in that sense, rather than like being more kind of dreamy. Do you know what I mean? Like I used to be like, oh my gosh, I'd love to go to Chelsea. Like that is so beautiful. That's so, oh my God, that life. Now I'm like, these people are my age. I feel, I understand their kind of situations as much as I can. They are also very rich. I'm not. Anyway, I'm gonna continue watching this. I've got, oh, I've got to play the adverts. And then, I'm gonna shoot some content. Woo woo. Hello, you join me in the middle of me taking some mirror selfies. Um, something I've been really enjoying recently is shooting mirror selfies, like really just kind of casual, easy. Like I love shooting content outside, don't get me wrong. But there is something about shooting a mirror selfie that, I think people relate to quite a lot and they seem to be doing well at the moment so I'm kind of carrying it on and I feel like my style is more exciting when I do it like kind of daily or like every other day whereas when I plan to shoot I shoot bulk shoot a lot of outfits and I end up like not loving them and it's nice to shoot outfits that I'm like this is a cool outfit I love the look of it but it's like I've just thought of it on the spot rather than like planning, you know? So yeah, I think I've shown you guys this setup before, but here's my mirror, my light that gives me just that little bit of extra glow when I kind of go in to edit them. I don't really edit my pictures that much, but I like to just brighten them up and that light helps me to brighten them up quite nicely. Um, so yeah, and I just did this outfit and I'll show you it. Um, so the jacket is from misguided um and the top and the like flared leggings are from top shop but obviously if you've been uh, watching the news or you've been listening to the news top shop or arcade has gone into administration as of yesterday when i'm filming this um so i won't link these items because i don't want you to go and buy these exact items and then not get them or whatever so i'll link something similar to both of these items below um because they're really nice but obviously i don't want you guys to go and buy something if you're not sure you're ever going to get it because i don't know what the protocol is with shops like that so i'll link something similar i will link them below if you want to buy these exact items but um yeah just letting you know if you didn't know that little nugget of news um but yeah anyway i've shot two outfits i've just done this one and i need to shoot that outfit up there for a campaign um but i'm going to do that a little bit differently i'm going to do like a little setup here and take it on this camera um because uh it's for an ad i don't really want to do a mirror selfie although i might take some mirror pics first because i quite like a mirror selfie pic good for like extra content um and i film two tiktoks every time i do an outfit i always film some tiktoks because i really like i love creating outfit tiktoks i think it's so much fun so i've been doing that as well if you don't follow me on tiktok already i think i already mentioned this make sure you do but on to the next outfit i'm not sure what i've got gonna do next i've done two outfits with these leggings so i'm thinking maybe some jeans We'll see. <laughs> Shooting for the day complete. Well, for now anyway. Um, I've taken about four or five outfits, roughly. Um, so I don't really need to shoot any more today because they'll last me for the next probably couple of days until I decide I want to shoot something else. Um, I need to get better with my planning of outfits. Um, but I've just discovered or should I say rediscovered, my good old trusty Doc Martens. These are the classic ones. I don't know the actual name of them, but I'll link them below. Um, I always wear my chunky ones, these ones. Ignore that, TikTok's frozen on me. Um, I always wear these ones, or go for these ones, because I think they're really, really cool. Like, they're such a cool vibe. But I think these are they're a great pair of boots like you know when you forget that you own something and you're like oh my gosh I'm gonna sneeze no I'm not yes I am no I'm not 
I don't know. Basically, <laughs> you know when you like fall in love with something new that you buy and then you forget what you have. I forgot how good these were, and they're definitely not my favourite shoes anymore because I like the chunky ones. But these are definitely a vibe. By the way, that was my shoe. I didn't just fart. Let's cut that out. <laughs> I am just sat at my desk, um, about to do the thumbnail for tonight's Vlogmas, aka Vlogmas number one. Vlogmas, Vlogmas. <laughs> um, and I thought I'd show you how I do the thumbnails for my videos excuse the mess in the background have not tidied up um so just ignore that um but i do all of my thumbnails on pickmonkey there's also a similar website called canva which i know a lot of people use but i've been using pickmonkey and i really like it um so i'm going to show you so this is the thumbnail picture that i want um, and i found this template that had um this kind of snow effect and this text which i really like so i clicked on it and resized it so that it will be the size of a youtube thumbnail and i'm just gonna kind of play around with the text um and see if i can make it look pretty i think i'm gonna say decorating the christmas tree on the front um yeah so i'm gonna put you here whilst i do so oh no maybe not <laughs> I've gone for Vlogmas day one for the um, thumbnail. I'm thinking I might put something like a picture, a little like Christmas thing here or something because I feel like that's not very exciting for a thumbnail. But I also don't want to make it too much. Maybe I'll put like a bit of red behind this just to add that kind of Vlogmas touch in it. Yes, let's do that. So um, if you've never used PicMonkey before, go to graphics basic and we'll do i should really probably like screen record my screen but i'm too lazy for that so we're just doing it this way um let's start by doing that and then we can see so then i'm going to change the color to a red um let's find a kind of ooh, that one's good sorry if you can hear my dog barking I don't know what she's barking at. Um, and then I'm going to do it, fade it a little bit, and I'm going to drag it behind the text. So I think perhaps maybe I need to do it like so. I just realised this is like um, Vogue text, isn't it? That's cute. And then I'll probably do something to go over this, maybe like a paint stroke, which you can find over here. Um, I love using this website because it helps so much when it comes to creating like thumbnails and stuff and you can really get quite creative with it which I really like um, so I'm thinking if I use this like so obviously change the colour to something more festive maybe go for a different kind of red No, I'm having a bit of difficulty here. Why is it so orange? I don't want it so orange. Like something like that. And drag it below. There you go. I'm probably going to play around with it and figure out what I actually want to do. Sorry, memory Kyle to cut me, cut me off. Um, basically, I'm just going to play around with it and then it'll be done. It's pretty much done anyway. So I'm going to... Love you and leave you because my memory card's about to run out and I haven't cleared any of my other ones yet. <laughs> Hello! It's a bit later on from when I last spoke to you. I found another memory card, still haven't cleaned up my mess. Um, video is ready to go live for tonight, which is exciting. I hope you guys are liking the videos. Um, I'm thinking of filming a fashion video tomorrow, which may go up before this this video might go up before that i don't know um that's like cozy christmas day outfits that's what i'm thinking of going for because christmas day is like it's going to be so different this year or christmas in general really oh sorry i just burped <laughs> oh give me it real um yeah so i think i'll do that next i might film that tomorrow i'm gonna plan it out tonight and then get it ready for tomorrow. Also really loving this like roll neck with a sweatshirt look. Saw it on TikTok. 
that inspired me to do it and here we are and it's quite warm as well which is nice um anyway i am currently scrolling through weekday if you've never shopped on weekday i highly recommend might purchase 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 a few items because um there's some really cute little bits that i think would work well in my wardrobe i was going to put the depop stuff up but i'll tell you what i haven't really been in the mood so i think tomorrow i'm going to film the video and then i'm also going to do that um because i don't have any urgent urgent stuff to do um so yeah that's exciting um i hope you're all having a lovely december so far i know it's only like a couple of days in but i hope you're like kind of keeping yourself busy and and trying to enjoy it as much as you can i think that's the best thing we can do right now is enjoy it as much as we possibly can and if that means buying christmas chocolate and watching christmas movies all the time then i'm here for it i have not watched my favorite christmas movie yet which is elf so that might possibly be on the cards oh i could watch it later it's annoying it's not on netflix yet i'm waiting because like i have the dvd but i don't have a tv in my room nor do i have a dvd player in my room so i can't really watch it anyway <laughs> i'm just chatting about nonsense now so yeah <laughs> i've decided to put um the holiday on i have watched the holiday about I'm, I'm gonna say i've watched it about 10 times already and it's only the first of december but i just love it it's such an easy movie to watch and you know that's what you need so that's what i'm watching i'm gonna edit this video that you're currently watching we'll start the edit and watch a bit of the holiday good morning everyone um i'm in my comfies aka my pajamas um because i haven't started my day yet it's 20 past nine which isn't that late to be honest um everyone is at home today uh so i get so distracted when everyone is at home but anyway today um i am not doing anything particularly Christmassy. I am going to the garden centre with my mum, but I won't be vlogging that because um, it's kind of just like a thing for us. Like, I don't need to film that. Um, but I am going to get ready, so I thought I would show you guys some of the products that I use when I get ready, etc. Um, because my skin needs a bit of sorting out. I had a couple of spots which I squeezed. I know, not good, but they were like ones that needed squeezing if you know what i mean so let me just close this because that light is so harsh when i'm getting ready oh god i feel so sleepy today jeez um i don't know what happened last night it got to like nine and i was like exhausted and i was like how am i this exhausted i don't really know anyway let me let me find something to put you on and uh, we'll get started. Okay, I finally found a spot that worked. So, I'm gonna start with moisturizer. It's stuck under my computer. Um, and I am just gonna put a bit of this on. This is the Esper Dry Active Resilience Moisturizer. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite moisturizer. I won't lie, I think my favourite one that I've used is the Kiehl's one. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream or something. Um, I really like that. But anyway, I'm just going to moisturise my face. By the way, I apologise for the lighting. I don't know why it looks quite yellow. Um, I don't know how to sort that out. Anyway, I'm going to go in with my foundation, which is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in... Vienna which is light 4.5 it's probably a bit light for me when I have tan on but there's nothing bronzer can't help um I'm just gonna put a bit on my hand and sponge it on with a little real technique sponge um, Um, 
there is my concealer. I got it. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. By the way, I seem really, really not with it. I'm so tired this morning. I literally, I don't know what's up with me, but today I don't have much energy. So, um, I'm not my thriving self right now, but hopefully when I've woken up a little bit, I will be. Um, but I don't put too much concealer on, um, because I kind of like to have like more of a light base. Um, it just helps with my skin and everything. Um, and I'm just gonna pat this concealer in. Okay, concealer is done. <coughs> oh, then I am. What do I do next? Eyebrows. Um, I think I've shown this before. I think I've shown this whole makeup routine before. To be completely honest with you. Um, but hey, it's fine. Um maybe we should talk about something a bit more exciting and then maybe maybe this won't be like sorry i'm all over the face anyway gonna do my eyebrows um what should we talk about uh i don't know my brain is not working this morning um i'm just gonna put some of this in if you've never used this product I highly recommend it. It's the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen and it has these little bristles. I don't know if you can see that. It has these little bristles which act as like a brush and it just helps to kind of draw in like hairs rather than like using a pencil which I find a lot harder. Um, this just makes it look like really natural um, and it's really easy to use and I have quite sparse areas my eyebrows like in these sections so it's nice to just fill them in um that's literally all i do and then i get my um, benefit brow setter 24 hour brow setter and just basically make them stay because i get droopy eyebrows sometimes and that's not a look that we need i've just remembered i actually have new things in my um in my routine that i forgot about which i think have I shared it on anything? I don't know. I've mentioned this in a video, but I don't think I've actually shown you guys. So the next thing I'm going to use is NARS Laguna Bronzer. Um, I've never owned this before until now. And I don't know why I haven't, because it's such a nice bronzer. Um, and I'm using a new Real Techniques brush. This is the blush brush. Um, and I tell you what, a new brush makes all the difference when it comes to application the other brush i have it's the same one but it's older and it's just not as like fluffy and soft and this is like a dream i'm just gonna put this on my face i'm gonna see <coughs> okay bronzer done i'm now going to put a little bit i'm now going to put a little bit of bronzer on my eyes um i have been doing like a winged liner and blending that but I just thought I'd go for something different and I used to do this all the time where I'd use a bit of bronzer on my eyes and it just adds a bit of colour without it being too like harsh um, and I just really like that so that's one I'm gonna do and obviously this is not done like really well I'm just kind of slapping it on okay that's not done now I'm gonna do blusher using the same old trusty blush palette that I've been using for ages. Um, it's from Nip and Fab, I don't think they sell it anymore. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush on my cheeks. And make myself look a little bit more alive. <laughs> and then just blend it so it doesn't look too harsh. And then I'm going to go in with the highlighter. I'm using this Laura Mercier highlighter in the colour. I can't remember. I don't think I'm going to say this right. Indiscretion? 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 I'm sorry if I've said that wrong. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. But it looks like this. It's really pretty. Um, I treated myself oh, to a new highlighter because the highlighter I had, I've had for so long. 
and I thought, you know what, it's about time I um, Um, it's about time I bought a new one, so that is what I've done, and I really like it. And then the last thing that I'm going to do before I do my mascara is a little bit of a winged liner, which I use my Naked Heat palette for. Um, let me find my brush. Um, okay, so I'm going to be using this colour. I don't know if I've shown you guys this before, I probably have. Um, and I'm just going to draw like a little winged liner at the edge of my eye. Um, just to create like that winged liner look but in a really like more natural kind of way because I'm not very good at black eyeliner and then because I always mess up on the first go and I quite like this look anyway I take this fluffy brush and I just blend it in and it just adds a little bit of colour to the eye even if I hadn't put anything on my eye originally it just adds a little bit of colour then we go in again and we draw it again. That one's better. And then what I'm going to do is just get my sponge and just neaten it up. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is put on some mascara. I spoke about this on my Instagram stories, but I haven't spoken on here. No, I did in a haul video, but if you didn't watch that, you won't have known this amazing mascara. Well, you might know it. Anyway, <laughs> I used to use this mascara years ago and I loved it but I was like I'm gonna see what else is available because this was like the first designer like high-end mascara that I'd ever tried so I was like there's got to be good ones other good ones out there I'm yet to find one that I like as much as this it's the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara if you've got short eyelashes and if you've got eyelashes that don't really curl very well this is amazing it makes them look so nice and so long and I'm going to show you what it looks like before and after. So this is my before lashes. Already, look at that. That's one eye done. Incred. This is the after. Like, look how much difference it makes in my eyes and my eyelashes. Just look, they just look so much more there. I love them so much. And then the last thing I usually do... I don't have it on me is I put a little bit of lip gloss and a little bit of lip liner this is the lipstick lipstick queen lip liner in the color dusty rose and then I use my iconic London lip gloss which I think is over there in nearly nude over the top and that is my makeup complete I'm not going to put the lip gloss on yet because I need to brush my teeth and there's no point because it will just come off when I brush my teeth so I will do that before I go out but yeah that's my makeup done my hair is pretty much still curly um I sleep on my hair down so uh I could probably give it a brush um and the curls hold better when I sleep with my hair down even though I know you're probably supposed to sleep with your hair up but every time I sleep with my hair up it kinks more and then um, I have to restyle it anyway every day, which I tell you what, it's not worth it. Although I definitely have one side of my hair that's thinner than the other. This side's slightly thicker, which is weird, isn't it? Yeah, like this side's got more hair. How is that possible? I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go crack on with some work because um, I've got bits and bobs to do and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Good evening everyone. I haven't picked up my camera all day. <laughs> I won't lie to you. It's currently, what is the time? It's 20 past eight and I've come upstairs to have a bit of chill out time. I always like to come to my room at like, I don't know, eight-ish. Maybe earlier, depends on when I have dinner. And just like spend a bit of time like chilling out. Watch something on my computer. You know, have a nice chilled out evening. I'm actually waiting for a parcel um, to come, which should be coming here. Should arrive at like nine-ish, I think. Her used to live so late here. So, gotta wait for that. But 
um yeah i've just had a bit of a lazy day to be honest just a bit of admin um i won't lie i feel like i'm a little bit lost with vlogmas as much as i'm enjoying doing the videos i think i've just not planned it very well so i'm currently just kind of winging it per se i feel like i burp in every video i'm so sorry but look it's normal not a lot we can do about that anyway um yeah i feel like i've not really planned it but also i think i've just not given myself enough time to think about it i'm spending too much time like wallowing about and just being like oh, i feel tired just not bothering so anyway i am gonna leave this video here and i will see you in the next vlog which i don't know when they'll be i think i'm just gonna be a bit sporadic with the vlogs um we'll see what i film but i think i'm gonna film an outfit video tomorrow which will hopefully be up before this and it'll be the second vlogmas video but we'll see we'll see how that goes um oh, i'm just really enjoying that christmasy vibe over there so pretty um i hope you're all having a lovely december so far and i will see you all in my next video bye